New accusations today have appeared regarding the grooming of minors by a VTuber and his friends. That VTuber being Joel, the marionette VTuber. A Twitch partner now with 101,000 followers on Twitch.tv. And who, as a full disclosure, was a guest on our September 18th YouTube stream of this year. The accusations themselves coming from a user on TikTok under the name Bunny Hops. Beginning with this video stating on the text, a VTuber when he and his friends groom several children in his Discord server, and then years later has 200,000 plus followers on this app, with the description on the TikTok saying, why yes, I do have screenshots, and then followed up by multiple TikTok videos, with Bunny Hops going on to explain that she was a sophomore in high school and about 15 years of age when she had joined Joel's Discord server, then finding out that the server was in in her view, made up of mostly grown men and teenage girls, with a few grown women also as members. Continuing on, that Joel was a real-life friend of Luke, a 19-year-old, who then began to talk directly with Bunny Hops, who again was 15 years of age at this time. The two would go on to make plans to meet IRL, with one plan involving Luke picking up Bunny Hops at her sophomore homecoming. But just before this, Bunny Hops states that Luke began to gaslight her, asking her why did she send him nudes on Snapchat, which she denied ever occurring. Luke then replying, saying at least he tried, and then began asking directly for nudes. When provided a picture of her homecoming dress, he would ask for a picture of her without the dress on. Also on the server was another man named Mario, who to Bunny Hop's understanding at the time was also serving in the army, was already in a relationship with a 16 year old, but then began sending explicit texts to a 14-year-old user on the Discord server. This was then brought to Joel's attention, with Bunny Hop saying that he sounded sympathetic and understanding at the time when this was all brought up in fall of 2021. Upon checking back a year later in on the Discord, Bunny Hops would find that Mario was still a member of the Discord, and while not active, Mario was still active on Discord and could still join the server at any time and continue to talk to teenage girls. That revelation Revelation for Bunny Hops is what prompted her to make the videos, adding that in another instance, when voicing concerns about Joel during a voice chat, Joel had joined, heard that, and then pulled Bunny Hops into a private voice chat, scolding her, and then separately scolding the 14-year-old user on the server as well. And while one of the TikToks has been taken down by TikTok with screenshots regarding Mario, another video containing screenshots between Joel and a 15-year-old was still available at the time of this recording. These screenshots being from five years ago when Joel was 18 and the other anonymous user in these screenshots being 15 years old, the 15-year-old would go on to ask Joel for his kinks, with Joel not immediately answering that question and responding with other messages such as, you're a walking piece of not safe for work. Telling the 15-year-old that he would not tell her of his kinks and to stop begging and further saying, you're too young. The 15-year-old would would state in reply, I'm three years younger, and Joel responding, I'm in college, you're in high school. With Joel continuing on that he would say one of his kinks if the 15-year-old asked nicely, upon the 15-year-old then asking, so may I please, please, please have one of your kinks, Joel, he would reply, one more try, good but not enough. Going on to say that he's just teasing her, the 15-year-old would say, I hate you, you made me do all of that for a I'm just teasing, with Joel further responding, oh, I thought you loved me, and then with the 15-year-old responding, look at me, I poured out truths, I do love you. Joel would then open up to the idea of sharing one of his kinks, calling her a dumb, cute fool. Still staying resistant, Joel would continue on, you can theorize, but I ain't saying sh and further saying to the 15-year-old, stop talking weird, stop, you're 15. It was a joke, I would go to jail if it was real. With the 15-year-old then responding, well, you didn't seem to care last night. Also, I've dated boys over 18 before. Joel responding, stop saying it like last night, reread what was said, you fool. The 15-year-old would actually then say, Joel, if you're uncomfortable, don't do it. Leading to Joel to say, I really don't care that much. You were comfy with me and I've told others 
sometimes it's not that big of a deal. With Joel then sending to the 15-year-old that his kink is that he likes fellatio over sex. With the 15-year-old going on to promise not to tell anyone, saying thank you for trusting me, and asking, does it bother you that I call you BB? Because I can stop if you want. Joel responding, go ahead, I do it with everyone, and then reiterating that he does believe that fellatio is better than sex, though he doesn't know about either, and saying further in hentai it's better. More sex talk between the two would continue on, the topic then circling around kinks, with Joel then saying to the 15-year-old, you make me morally confused, I swear to God. I act sexual with a few friends, but you're underage, and it confuses the out of me. Then being asked, are you saying that if I wasn't underage, that everything would be chill? Joel would respond, I don't know, I still think of stuff logically. Like, is it even okay to act like this with someone who's my friend? I am very morally ambiguous. The 15-year-old then responding, I mean, if both parties consent, it should be fine. And further, if it's a girl around my age, you can tell them you were dating before you turned 18. Anyways, let's get off this topic, yeah. Joel responding, true, true. And yeah, I agree with you. The topic then turning back to fellatio once again, with Joel explaining the act and then saying, okay, I'm stopping, I'm not finishing this. And upon more sex talk, Joel telling the 15-year-old, stop, I'm a pure shy boy. Saying further, I got you, BB, and I'm okay with sexual stuff now as long as there is boundaries. I trust you. With the 15-year-old responding, sexual stuff is my forte, and Joel reacting, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. The conversation then would turn to Joel attempting to make the the 15-year-old act like a tsundere, with the 15-year-old lastly stating, I'm pretty sure you already have my boob size. Comments on TikTok would say, I 100% believe you and your friends, but it would help to have proof the account is Joel's, since it is easy to fake accounts on Discord. Bunny Hops would then create a separate TikTok, showing that the four-digit Discord number associated to the user in these direct messages is using the same Discord account number as Joel. Many comments on TikTok were also very surprised, others stating they will be unfollowing Joel, and also further comments about the ages, including kind of strange, not going to lie, but wasn't he 18 at the time? 18 is such a weird age to be honest. They are technically in the middle between adult and child. He should definitely, though, make some changes to the server, and not let that happen again, because that's just a bad picture, and he should apologize. Bunny Hops in the comments would also add, one of my friends who went through some of the worst of it said she might make a video too, talking about her experience Experience, it was so bad. Another comment saying, I don't know, I feel like this is weird, but 18 to 15 isn't a seriously creepy age gap. I don't know, this doesn't feel like it's following grooming standards. With Bunny Hops then continuing on, I made a video just a little bit ago saying I was starting to agree with you guys, and I don't know if grooming was the right word anymore. Another user saying the comments saying she was harassing him are not it. He had the power position. He could have blocked and left the conversation. He chose to keep going. And another comment stating, yes, it would seem the minor was age trapping, but Joel should have just blocked her and moved on, a fault on both, with Bunny Hops agreeing. And with Bunny Hops stating that another video regarding screenshots with Mario got taken down for harassment bullying. LMAO, okay TikTok. Bunny Hops continuing, yeah, she admits that she was a stupid kid who was trying to get attention from him. Still doesn't make it okay, he definitely should have just blocked her. And we now have a response from Joel, posting to his offline made alternative Twitter account saying, to be clear, the person that this statement is about, I don't want them to be harassed or engaged with negativity. A situation from within my community that happened a long time ago was brought up to me, so I wanted to address it briefly. I ran my streamer community when I was 18 years old with no experience prior. I didn't really know how to say no to people, so I talked with everyone who DM'd me. This led to answering questions and making uncomfortable talks go on longer than I wanted. I completely agree that I I should not have answered that person's questions, but also I think it's obvious from our conversation that there was zero predatory behavior or malicious intent on my end. I had insecurities about not interacting with community members enough and appeased them when I shouldn't have. I would never do this now, nor would I have done this within any recent years. This was a very long time ago, and I am now more experienced in how to handle things like this that creators are often posed with. To address a few specific points, I want to clarify 
clarify that I met Mario when I was around 10 by way of Xbox Live and played games with him a lot, then distance after becoming a content creator. Mario is not in the Discord server right now. I wasn't aware he had an account in there, but managed to figure out which account was his and ban it immediately. There was a time someone named Luke had been trying to approach someone in a manner that was inappropriate and predatory, and as soon as we found out, we banned him and made sure he wouldn't use my community to access anyone. Lastly stating, I'm willing to answer any questions anyone has about the situation, and you are more than welcome to reach out to me for a statement. TVS did reach out to Joel today for clarification, asking if Luke had been banned before today, and if Mario's account was banned today upon being discovered, which was directly confirmed by Joel himself to us. With Joel adding, also I should mention that there was multiple bans for Mario from what I can remember. Mario was banned prior, learning he still had an account today, we identified which one it was and banned his alternative account from the server. And that is all for this episode, as we'll have more Things VTubers Say for you soon.